What's up and welcome back. Welcome to Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1967 Impala. This one here has got the matching number 396 under the hood. It's got disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. Dual exhaust out the back. And of course, we're gonna take it down the road, see how she runs and drives, point out any kind of flaws. That way you know what you're getting before you get here. Check out the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We also have financing and shipping available on all of the cars on the lot. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this channel, and hit like, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. You can also pick up our new t-shirt line right here on the uh, store on YouTube. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, let's look around the interior, check everything out, place your bets. Do you think the horn works? That's a game we love to play on this channel. Seems like 50% of the horns don't work. Dash pad looks pretty good, a little fading in the carpet, but you know, sun's been beating down on this carpet with the top down. Let's go ahead and start her up. Coming across the dash, the clock is still working. Everything's nice and clean. Showing 74,000 miles, and with this being the original motor, it very well could be. I just can't stand behind anything on a 67 model, but man, matching number motor. Wipers, they work. Ashtray. Blower motor. Oh yeah. Radio? Give me some tunes. Got some speakers on the floor there. Carburetor on this one feels like it's got a flat spot in it. Windows? On the wrong side there. It's like our passenger window may be out over here. This one's coming up behind us. That one over there is coming up as well. Let's see. Rolling it down. Let's see about the passenger window. It probably come up. Yeah. Looks like the switch was out on the driver's side. But yeah, we're gonna check everything out. Take her down the road. Let's check that horn. All right, guys, let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. Okay, getting ready to take off down the road. Any flaws I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. Checking it out. Uh, just kind of getting a like feel for the flat spot that's in that carburetor. Gas gauge is floating around. Uh, it was a half a tank when we left. It's down a quarter. It's just kind of moving around as it floats in the tank there. signals popping up on the dash on this one on both sides 
No need to stop the gas station, we have plenty of that. do now is pull into the parking lot here and we get some undercarriage shots we're also going to drive by the camera kind of check it out from the outside perspective we'll also do some other fun shots with the car and when we get back to the lot i'll walk around point out chips scratches flaws on the paint check out the interior some more pop the trunk we're going to go over this whole thing let's do it Let's get the seat belt back on. You know, the more we're driving it, the better that carburetor's feeling. It had a little bit of a flat spot before, and it's it seems to be taking the gas just perfect now. Yeah, a little flat spot there. It's still there, but let's keep driving it. We'll take the long route to the lot now we'll go ahead and hit the back roads over here and uh just put some miles on her let's do it it's a nice day drop top we can drive by the lake Looks like our road's back open too. They were working on it the other day. Suspension's not too bad on this and I'd probably give it a six out of 10. It's probably the, the wheels and being lowered a little bit, make it a little bit bumpier, but it's not that bad at all. I do wanna make sure y'all are straight. Look a little bit crooked. Does that work? Let's see. Fixing you up here at the stop sign.
this portion of the test drive, I like to be quiet and let you listen to the, the car itself. Brakes on this thing are solid, they feel great. And most of the time those flat spots in the carburetors, they'll come from just sitting and the gas will evaporate in that carb and cause that issue. Put some miles on it, put some drive time in it. That's the best thing you can do for something like that. Otherwise you can get it all cleaned out or put a new carburetor on it. in Hendersonville traffic. <laughs> it used to not be bad when I graduated high school. You could get from one of the town to the other without even hitting the red light. Now it's you hit every one of them. needs to be tightened up. I've noticed it'll work its way down. I believe that's just a flathead screwdriver. Tell you what we'll do right here is we'll Put her down in low one. Shift through the gears here. Ran out of road, but we made it all the way up into third there. I guess our radio never came on. It's probably toast. Old Delco. All right. Right around the corner from the lot. We're gonna pull in here, get some uh, outside footage, walk around this car, check for chips, scratches, rust, anything I can find. That way you know exactly what you're getting when you get here. So check us out at maplemotors.com. Um, always getting new inventory here. So we had a road runner last Monday and it sold on Monday. Uh, we had a split bumper Camaro over there that sold pretty quick. I'm pretty sure it sold on Monday as well. There's a lot of stuff that comes through our company here and we'll keep them coming on the site and on the website maplemotors.com be sure to check us out hit subscribe share and hit like and i'll keep the videos coming here comes the walk around all right back at the lot we're gonna walk around this car check everything out we're gonna be looking for flaws chips scratches anything i see i want you to know everything about these cars before you get here so we offer detailed pictures we offer finance we offer shipping 
and that's all at maplemotors.com. Let's get started here. I'm going to hit the lower portions first and work our way around this car. Coming around the front here, front bumper's in decent shape. Looks pretty good. It's got some light scratches real close. Coming down the side of the car, we're going to go down the lower portion first. Up and over. Down here. So far, so good, other than the little grass on there. The chip. A little overspray on that bumper in the back. Going back to mid section. This is a very straightforward car. I'm not seeing a ton of flaws in this one at all. Back over the top of the fender. Trim looks good, front windshield looks good. Tops of the doors, I mean. The framing on your top here. Top got some wax there. Is that wax or is it? That may be where they've hit it with the buffer and got down under the paint on the edge there. Coming around the back. Back bumper on this one's got a light scratch right there. There's another one right here. Dual exhaust. Got some light cracks in the reverse light there. Same on this side. Weather stripping. A little weak. Showing signs of wear all around. Checking the trunk out. We've got that bolted down. But most part, this is solid. Looking good. Your package tray. Okay. These are in the ignition. Let's come down with this. Looking at your trim on the back here. It's got a couple little flaws. You can see, shut's pretty easy. So like it lines up good on both sides. <clears throat> okay. Let's head on down the driver's side here. Up and over the fender. Oh, came right off. A little wax. Oh, that picked up on the test drive. That will get wiped off. We'll wax that spot too. This is a very clean car. I do stop for flaws. It's just not that many on this ride.
Hey guys, thanks for coming in. Hey, thank you. I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a good one. You too. They drove a long way to come here. A lot of people come up here and, and walk around the car a lot, check everything out. And uh, we don't realize they're coming from all over the country. So we'll try to get them some tags and some uh, memorabilia to go back home with, show their friends. I know a lot of y'all are sitting at the house. Y'all be watching the channel all the time, and I appreciate that very much. Um, they actually sit at their work and watch the channel all the time. So that's pretty cool. Guys, this car is super clean. I mean, all the chrome looks good, the windows, the paint. There's a dent right there. I found something. <laughs> okay, been all the way around the ride. Now we're gonna go ahead and check the interior out and get her started one more time before we end the video. Underneath the hood is nice and clean just like everything else on this ride. Let's check the interior out. Coming up on the door panel, it's in good shape. There is a small little slit right there on the armrest. Weather stripping looks decent around the door. Up under it. Jams look good. It's like a silicone was put down underneath this. A little rub mark there. The carpet is a bit faded, but it still looks good. It's not all ripped up. A little wear here. The seat's got a little wear right there. Hop on in here, start her up real quick. Extremely loud horn. <laughs> You know what there's one thing we didn't check it does have an ac compressor let's see if it works it's not pulling down on the rpm so i don't think it's going to get cold it is blowing. Looked like all the AC stuff was there. I'm just kind of waiting a second to see if it will get cold. I don't think it's going to. Compressor is not engaging. It is all there. Need a little work. Get the AC going. But hey, it's a convertible. Motor's nice and quiet. Coming on down with the hood. Has a little ding right there. Real small. Nothing to worry about on that. Got some chips here. On the inside. Okay, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this channel, and hit like, and I'll keep them coming your way. We do classic cars every single day. Check out maplemotors.com for shipping, financing, 
and 100 detail pictures and of course every Monday we update with new inventory we go through about 60 cars a month I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you later have a good one guys